one, part two. We just dropped off that trailer earlier out in um, Denver, Pennsylvania. Just got over here to Howard, Pennsylvania right now at the Coca-Cola. Gotta pick up a trailer. Drop it off in Connecticut, South Windsor, Connecticut. So, just back this truck up in a spot, y'all. I'm hoping to make it to Connecticut by tonight. Been driving since this morning, about nine o'clock. Should be able to make it, hopefully. Uh, depending on which which way the GPS takes me. So, how it's gonna go for the rest of the day. So, uh, we at spot 29. I loaded trailer that we gotta pick up is in spot 12 which is down that way. So, um, I'm about to just unhook myself in this trailer, y'all, and then we're gonna, we're gonna get back to it in a few. See what we gotta do. What that other trailer looking like. Hopefully it's nothing crazy. So I'm gonna get back to y'all in a little bit. Alrighty, y'all. So, we just got to our spot. Spot 12. I'm trying to see if we good. And we put the back in, y'all. Make sure that kingpin is right down the middle. So, we take a look and see what the load looking like in the back. It's probably heavy. They got the, the tandem slid all the way to the back, man. I hate sliding tandems, man. I'm telling you, stress. Oh, it already got a seal on it, so that's cool. I just gotta take down the seal number and go in the office. Let's hook up to this trailer, y'all. Let's hook up to this trailer. Let's see what's going on. Back it in and hook up. All right, so we just finished setting up the trailer, hooking up. Everything looks good on the trailer. So I'm about to walk to the office and get the paperwork. So. See, I'm also trying to see if my clock is gonna reset. Um, I got like about five hours, but I've been driving, so I didn't really get to do the full 30 minute break. I don't know, the 30 minute reset. So right now I'm just walking to the office, y'all. We're gonna see about the clock when I get over there, when I get back. process they got i guess that's because covid so there's no more contact with anybody so they just got the screen there you go in there you punch in your information seal number pickup number and then wait for the printout so we headed back to the truck y'all um trying to see now what i'm gonna do with this clock so yeah Truck. I'm tired. I'm ready to go home. This delivery is due tomorrow at 8 a.m. So let's see if we're gonna make it. Hopefully we make it tomorrow morning. I'm trying to make it to Connecticut. So let 
me see about this clock, y'all. I hit y'all when we about to get rolling. Got out here we in stormville new york super dark right now so i'm gonna just keep this short um we about an hour and a half away from the drop um i have to do a split shift in the morning only reason i'm doing a split shift is because the delivery is due at eight and of course i just picked up a load earlier today had to drop it off then pick this one up and this one is due literally the next day eight o'clock in the morning so um just letting y'all know we out here we almost there y'all we almost home so i'm about to get some rest and i'm gonna catch y'all in the morning what's going on y'all morning it's 8 a.m we still out here in stormville y'all so doing my walk around real quick but uh the delivery was due well the delivery is due right now but we got here last night at 10 o'clock we locked in got here last night at 10 o'clock and uh i tried to do the split shift i had to call driver logs to try to see how to do it but the lady told me i had to be done by 10 o'clock to do the split shift and i would get my hours back at like eight so i would have to be in the sleeper for like seven hours but Apparently that didn't work. She gave me some mis misinformation. Um, I needed to have about like, I needed to be in the sleep over like two hours on my clock. Two hours left on my clock. So um, that kind of messed me up. So we had to do the full reset, which is 8 a.m. But luckily they, they pushed the delivery time to 10 a.m. So, we got two hours to make it over there. We're about an hour and a half away. What is this? Is this me? Something dragging on the floor here. Yeah, this is for me. I don't know what that, oh, that's, that's probably this. This coming off right here. Something coming off here. It's always something, y'all. Got this on the floor. Yeah. That's coming on. I don't know. Uh, not really gonna mess with it right now. I'm probably just gonna try to see if I can bring it to the mechanic. Look like some type of side skirt or something. But, um, this truck is all beat up, y'all. Look at it. When I got it, it had all the scratches on it. That's how they gave it to me. All beat up. Now I'm about a bunch of scratches, but yeah. Um, luckily, they pushed out delivery to 10 a.m. So, just at this rest stop, y'all. Trying to see about this this reset. Oh, the reset happened. We got our we got our hours back. So. Sorry for my window, y'all. Y'all see, I'm, I'm getting blessed by the birds. They just have a field day with my windshield, so. Um, we got our hours back. It's 8.13 right now. So I'm about to get ready to get out of here. And um, drop this delivery off, y'all. And head home, I guess. So, we'll catch y'all when we get to the spot. 
Hopefully we're not there too long like yesterday with the other delivery. Stayed there four hours. But um, hopefully this one is a quick one. It's a quick unload and we can get out of here. So I'll see y'all in a little bit. All right, y'all, so we just made it to our destination. We got Coca-Cola. Gotta go in the office now and see which one of these docks we're pulling into. Disconnect our emergency holes now. Let them do their work. They'll just take out the emergency holes. I really don't understand what the purpose of that is for, but my bad, y'all. Just make sure everything's good. Yeah, so how we go. Alright, y'all, so. We here, we're a little late, but traffic. Nothing we could do about traffic. So now we wait. So we were supposed to be here at 10 o'clock. We got here like 10 18. It's 10 37 right now, y'all. So um there's a lot of traffic coming up. But we made it, so I'm just waiting now for them to finish unloading. And then we get out of here and we wait for the next one. All right, y'all, so we just finished getting unloaded. This is the end of our Coca-Cola journey, y'all. Uh, all I gotta do is just close up these doors, slide my tandems back, and we're done for the day. So, we out of here, y'all. Appreciate y'all. We empty. Appreciate y'all for watching this video. Take time out of your day to spend with me on this journey. And this was a crazy journey, y'all. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. We got another one tomorrow, so we all closed up. We got another one tomorrow, y'all, so I'm about to get out of here, slide these tandems back. Appreciate y'all. Please like, subscribe, share. Leave your questions in the comments and I'll try to get back to y'all as soon as I can. So, I'm out of here, y'all. Y'all have a good day, good night, good morning. Whenever you're watching this video, hopefully y'all have a good day. I'm out of here, y'all. See y'all in the next one.